Hello and welcome to this Touchday tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your account and add new guides which will require more than one template of content. This could be because some of your places are in different locations and will need separate local area sections, or maybe you have several units in a single resort or building and want a template for the topics of information about that resort or building. This video does assume you're already familiar with the Touchday basics such as adding and editing topics in Content Hub and updating the guide cover details. Also note, the trial account is just for a single guide, so you'll need to subscribe to more guides from the account page first. The next thing to do is to add a new guide. During this process we're going to link it to all of your content that you've already created in Content Hub, so it will be an almost complete copy of your first guide. Once that's done, I'll show you how to create new templates of content in Content Hub and apply them to different guides and also how to customise them. Head over to the Guides list page and use the Add Guide button. Fill in the details and click Next. Here, you can upload a cover photo and choose to copy over any custom colours and fonts from an existing guide. And then this section here, Select Tags, is the important one to connect this new guide to all your existing content. Because right now you only have one template in Content Hub, this All Guides icon will be active by default. So just make sure you leave it as is, and then click Create Guide. If you have an older account, yours may say Tag 1 instead of All Guides. Don't worry about the difference in name, it functions exactly the same. Ok, there it is now on our Guides list page. But before we go any further, I'm just going to explain how the tags work to create the templates of content. The way it works is that in Content Hub, all your topics can have a tag associated with them. I'm just hopping over there now, and as we scroll down, we see this green All Guides tag next to all the topics. Each guide can also be given tags, and quite simply, when the tags match between a topic and a guide, then that topic shows in that guidebook. To start with, all your topics in Content Hub will have the green tag icon active, and when we just added that same tag to the new guide, it inherited all of that content automatically. We're going to create some new tags now to create different templates of content and then apply them to our guides. In my example, I'm going to pretend I have properties in different sides of a city, east and west, and I'm going to need different local area content for these. You create new tags at the top of Content Hub in the drop down next to the tags column header. I'm going to create one for east. There we go, and one more for West. If you have an older account with the green starter tag called Tag1, then this may be a good time to update the name to All Guides, since we'll be using this as the main content tag for anything that isn't specific to the local area guide section. Now that's done, I'm going to update the tags on some of my local area section topics. There is the ability to update topic tags in bulk through the tags drop down here, but you can also do it individually through the edit topic option. I'm going to do that now. I'll remove the all guides tag and add the east or west tag through the edit topic option, just like this. Ok, I've now done the same for a couple of topics each, and here we have them. Just to recap, here in Content Hub, we now have our template set up by using the tags. We have an All Guides tag for the topics we want on all of our guides, and then a specific tag for the topics in each of the two local areas. Once you have lots of topics, you may find this filter up here useful to just filter by a specific tag. Let's now go back to our new guide page. The first tab is Guide Details, and, just the same as your first guide, it's where you can update the cover photos, cover details, map location and various other elements. I'll leave you to update those later. We're going to focus on a newly available tab called Guide Content. This is the place where you can update the tags, so this guidebook will inherit the correct topics from Content Hub, and then you can also make customizations for any content that needs to be unique. At the top here is where we set the tags for this property guidebook. To start with, we just have the green All Guides tag active, and if we scroll down to the local area section, then none of those topics with the East or West tags are showing. Back at the top, 
we use the Edit Tags option to switch on the East tag. And now, in the Local Area section, the East topics are showing. You can see them here. If I go to my other property and activate the West tag, along with All Guides, then, when we scroll down to the Local Area section, the West topics are showing. This is a good point to show where the Preview button is. It's here at the top. And if I preview this guide and go to the local area section, then I see the correct topics in there. Now that the properties have the tags they need, whenever I add a new topic in Content Hub, I just make sure I give it the correct tag, and then it will automatically connect to any of my properties with the same active tag. There's no need to create copies or add a topic more than once. Just give it the correct tag in Content Hub. It's at the bottom of the Add Topic screen here, and then it connects to all the matching properties at the same time. You might be wondering at this point about the topics with the All Guides tag where the content needs to be a little different. Things like the Wi-Fi password, kitchen appliance instructions, or how to work the TV. These topics are on all of your guides, but the actual content needs to be a bit different on each of them. To do this, we use what we call custom content. On the guide content page, find the topic you want to create a custom version of. I'm going to use kitchen appliances in my example and then go to the three dots menu on the right. Here, you can choose to add custom text or a custom photo or video to this topic. Any custom versions you add will only show on this guide. It effectively overrides the Content Hub version, but just for this guide. I'm going to choose custom text and then add the details to my topic and click save. I'm then going to add a custom photo of the kitchen too. So now, you can go down the Guide Content tab and make custom versions of any topics where you need the content to be unique on this guide only. There's one final case we need to consider, and that is topics which are completely unique to just one guide. Let's say the property for my new guidebook doesn't have any laundry facilities, but all my others do. The laundry appliances topic is currently showing on my new guide because it has the All Guides tag. You can see it here. Now we don't want a custom version of this topic, we simply don't want it to show. This is where we adjust the visibility settings of the topic. In this column, there are three icons for the visibility status. The default is this first one, and that just follows the tag rules. If you hover over the icon, you get a tooltip. But we want the laundry appliances topic to be hidden on this guide and not follow the matching all guides tag. So we're going to use the never show option to stop it showing on this guide only. I click that, and it's gone, and will no longer show on this guide. If instead, you want to do the opposite, and add a brand new topic that will only show on one guide and not your others, then you'll need to add that back in Content Hub first. So let's say this new property, without laundry facilities, has a games console, but it's the only one of my properties which does. Right now, there is no games console topic at all. So I'm gonna to go to Content Hub and add that new topic here just as you would have done when creating your first guide. If ever you need a completely new topic, it has to be done in Content Hub. Now whilst creating this topic, in the tag section, I'm going to leave it with no active tags. This means by default, it won't connect to either of my guides. We go back to the guide content tab, and we're going to update the visibility setting on the games console topic to force it to show. However, to start with, we won't be able to see it. It should be here, and it's not. But that's because only the visible topics display to start with. At the top here is a Show Hidden Content checkbox. And when we use this, any hidden topics will appear in the Guide Content tab. Here we go. Games Console is now there, and with the current visibility status of Follow the Tag. This topic had no tags, and hence it wasn't showing. But we can use Always Show and that will override the missing tag, and this topic will now show, but on this guide only. And so there we have it. By using your tags, you can create templates of content to share across as many guides as you want, really quickly and easily. When adding a new guide, or from the Guide Content tab, you set which tags each guide has, and can then create custom versions of those topics, or fine tune the visibility of each topic as required to make each guide unique. Try to make as much of your content as standard as possible in Content Hub and just use the custom content and visibility overrides where you really need them. 
If you have any questions or would like some help deciding how best to set up your content or tags, then there's more guidance in the knowledge base and you can always send us a message through the support tab. Thanks for watching.